back. If you live in Billings, you've probably heard of Trailhead Spirits or been to their tasting room downtown. But the distiller is making a name for themselves across the region with award-winning spirits and deep Montana roots. MTN Samantha Harrelson has their story in this week's Montana Made. We're a true production distillery where we uh, make all the products that we that we sell. We uh, ferment, we distill, we, we barrel, we bottle, we do everything on site here. The folks at Trailhead Spirits do everything by hand from their tap room and distillery in downtown Billings. This is a very laborious operation. There's, it, it's true handcrafted. We, you know, we bring the bottles in, we clean them, we, we hand label, we roll a hand label on them. Um, we do all the distillation, obviously, ourselves, barrel aging, uh, and then got a bottling crew that we put it together, uh, put it in boxes. Since opening their doors in 2013, Trailhead has quickly made a name for themselves in the region with award-winning spirits like their Healy's Gin. Our gin is uh, uh, a mix of some contemporary uh, traditional gin botanicals, some some newer botanicals, and then we've got some local influence. You know, we've got some some sweet grass and some sage and some mint and some um, bitterroot that we put in there that is really unique to Montana, obviously, with the state flower and the state grass. Their Healy's Reserve Gin is a completely different spin, aged anywhere from nine months to a year and a half in rye whiskey barrels. The TTB doesn't even recognize uh, aged barrel aged gin as a classification. So when I was trying to get my labels approved for the Healy's Reserve barrel aged gin, it, it got rejected and I had to go back to the drawing board. And because barrel aged gin was not a uh, TTB classification, I had to change the label to cask rested gin and then it got approved. The Healy name holds special meaning for owner Casey McGowan. It was his great grandfather's name. Michael Healy was an Irish immigrant to Butte and a well-known moonshiner during the Prohibition era. As it's going up the column, it's getting close there on that side temperature. And then it's going to go all the way to the top, and then you can see that one actually just took off there a little bit. Yeah, you can see it's climbing pretty quick mm -hmm. now. Those family ties run through Trailhead Spirits. All of the wheat used comes from the family farm. As a tribute, the distillery's whiskey line is aptly named Highwood, where the farm is located. We're pretty proud of the fact that it's all, it's all made locally using grains, you know, even more locally sourced, knowing that the, the piece of ground that it came from was your, was your farm that was in your family for 120 years. And, you know, just that lineage and that pride of, of being able to do something and carry on those family traditions, you know, even though I'm not back on the farm and whatnot, it's kind of fun to be able to bring that through on, a, on another product that's, you know, a value-added agricultural commodity and putting a, a Highwood label on it, that, that brings a lot of pride to me to, to bring some recognition of the hometown. In Billings, Samantha Harrelson, MTN News. Samantha also tells us Trailhead Spirits currently distributes around the state of Montana as well as in Wyoming, Idaho, South Dakota, and 